Pause, Lily have her first kiss. I wouldn't count it as my first kiss. <laughs> Do you have a crush? Lily, what is your worst fear? Okay, long story short. If you had to pick someone to marry RN, who would it be? Hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be questioning Lily. This is a part of her cute little room which is so fun. I'm so excited to be questioning Lily. This has been so much fun getting to know my sisters a little bit better and I got some good juicy questions for Lily. Oh, no. All right guys, before we get going at answering all these questions, make sure that you subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. Follow Lily and me on all of our social media and that's about it. The first question is, Lily, how old are you? This is a pretty simple question. 15. 15, she's almost 16. What kind of car do you wanna get when you're 16? Do you think you'll get a car? Yeah. You think you'll get a car, okay. We kinda I need... just don't know what. No, what so, yet? If you could pick, what's your dream car? A Jeep. A Jeep, what color? White and black. Okay, that would be actually really cute. I could just like, see you in a little red. white Jeep with like some cute glasses, some Kim K gla uh, glasses. Oh, that would be really cute in that. That would be really fun. Her birthday's actually in what, like two months? March 12th. Woohoo! Getting there. I'm excited, that's fun. Has Lily had her first kiss? I wouldn't count it as my first kiss because it, no, this was when I was like second, third grade. Like this was a while ago. Oh, okay. We had like a fake wedding with like our little <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this with what's his name? Anthony. Yeah! <laughs> 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 but I was really mad because he actually got married to the other girl. And so like I ran back to her house and he kissed me on the street. <laughs> <laughs> because you wanted to get married. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's cute. Lily, have you ever been bullied before? Yep. Wait, really? Yep. What did you do? Like, sometimes did you tell people, mom? Yeah, or? but like sometimes people will just like start random rumors and then they, they just get bullied for them, but. What do you do? Do you just kind of like don't listen to them or? Sometimes they're funny. Like they're just like the most <laughs> randomest thing. So I'm like, really, I did that? Like I didn't know that. Is there any like ones that are like funny that you're like, that would not have happened. Like this would not happen. Oh, I know. So I was hanging out with these group of people and I liked this boy, but they were like, just like being really like rude and stuff. So like three of our friends like went back to this kid's house. Uh -huh. They started a rumor. They said that I had <laughs> for two minutes. <laughs> cause that's how long it took to walk back to that guy's house. Um, the three of us were like sitting there cause we like get a call from like one of the kid's parents and they're like, Hey, I just want to talk to this kid's parents and let him know that he did this with Lily. And we're sitting there and we go, what? I did that? Like we were just like all staring at each other. And one of my really good friends was with us and he's like, that did not happen. But like so we literally weird. booked it back to the house because it was like late and we didn't want to like get kidnapped or anything. And I would just say, I don't know, what do you do when you're like, you just kind of ignore them and just move on with your life? Is that kind of, yeah. it's sad though. Like I wish that people weren't like that. Definitely talk to people if you ever are bullied because it definitely helps, but also get out of that. Like, if you have new friends that are actually bullying you, get out of there. Like, if those girls are being rude, leave. Yep. That's messed up. This goes right along with our last question. It says, how do you know if you have good friends? If they have the same standards as you. Yeah. And like, by nice. standards, what do you mean by that? Just like, like the rules that you follow or like the things that you believe in type thing. Yeah, that makes sense. So just kind of like people that like, oh, you're like, I don't want to do this. Like I feel yeah. like that, that's wrong. Then you have that same thing. I feel like that's actually really good. Next question is Lily. Do you have a crush? I don't. Wait, really? Yeah. I, guess I mean, I have one like on this guy in the movie, but. Ooh, which one? Thor? Thor? <laughs> Well, he's obsessed with Thor, it's hilarious. He's pretty, he's pretty cute, I'll have to admit. Lily, will you get your own YouTube channel? I want to start one, but I just don't know when. Okay. So, That's I might start it like in high school, but I don't know. You'd be a good you little YouTuber channeler. We could collab! Yeah! <laughs> or maybe not. Collaboration. Collaboration. Do you both have hair extensions? Yes. yes, can you see mine? I have my hair in a ponytail right now, but I definitely, I have some hair extensions. Let us see, they're the best things ever because they make your hair a lot thicker. It's true. And it's fun. And then they make them pretty long, like look at how beautiful. 
we did this TikTok just barely with uh, Navy. And it's like, in it, it says you have to leave if you have this. And the first thing was hair extensions. Lily and I both were just like, ooh, okay. But we like our hair extensions. Can you explain the clothes on the roof story? I'm confused. First, maybe we should explain. All right. We talked about this in our, what was it? Like a it was, random video. It was in this random video where we, oh, I snuck out the kids. And we did like some service and stuff. It was like really cute. But okay, long story short, this came my up. family's in New York. I stayed home because I had a dance, and I didn't want to miss it because I'd already asked someone. So we had someone watching us. This kid that I liked, I won't say his name. Yeah. Came up to me at the gym and said, "Hey, can I come and grab my stuff later?" I was like, "Sorry, my parents are home, so no. You can get it another day." You were gonna bring him to school yeah. the next day. Yeah. So I was just like, I can bring it to you. Like the helper that's helping us wash can bring it to you. I, you cannot come to my house. Yeah, because it's like scary. Yeah. You don't have any sit. Like oh, exactly. Your family's not home. So I get out of the shower and I look at my phone and I have like 16 missed calls from like all the people he's with that came to our house. And I look out my window and I'm just in a towel and they're all shining their lights like at our house and like banging on the door. And so oh my and my gosh. the person that I was watching us, she's like. Okay, like I already locked all the doors, like don't hand them their stuff. You already told them they can come another day. Like this is like inappropriate or what they're doing, whatever. And they were like filming you. Yeah, they were filming me and like saying all this stuff. And they were here for three hours. And I was just up here. I'm like- I didn't know it was three hours. Yeah, they were here from nine, like two and a half, like almost oh my three. Gosh. They didn't leave until like almost like 12, so yeah. So anyways, I'm like sitting here my, and the person that's watching, she's like, no, it's okay. I can bring it to him another day. So I called him back. I'm like, hey, I can bring it to you tomorrow. Like whatever, I'm not coming out tonight. I'm not dressed. And I had Ledger and I was trying to put him to sleep and they were banging on the door, ringing the doorbell and it went to his room. So he would keep waking up. Oh my gosh. So I was just sitting there for like an hour, just helping put him down. And then after I finally like come and like bring them their stuff, well traded. Trey also had work, so he wasn't oh, he just watching. Really got home. So he brought it down in the box. He gave me my stuff that I didn't even realize, like that I didn't even have, and none of it was mine. So I like bring it up to my room, I'm sitting there, like, who are these four year olds' underwear in this? I was like, who's is this? So I text him, like, hey, you brought some stuff, like you left some stuff. I think it was his. He comes back to our house, and I was, and then the person that was watching us said, just throw it out the window. <laughs> I was like, okay, but I didn't realize I had a roof underneath my window. So I threw out the clothes and they're all sitting there and they're like, you're an idiot. It's on the roof. Now. There's like underwear, socks, shirts, a bra, and like something. I'm like, none of this is mine. It might be your sister's or something, but it's not mine. And so like, they just like kept standing there. They called my mom. My mom just laughed and said, go home, leave her alone, whatever or not. We'll bring your stuff to you tomorrow when we told mm -hmm. you we would. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So then I brought it back on his birthday, not realizing it was actually his birthday. Like I did know it was his birthday, but then I forgot. So then I yeah. just put it in the back of their truck. And oh my gosh. Wow. Funny. The the clothes on the rear story. I didn't even hear that whole thing. So, wow. Earth shaking. Do you have a good relationship even though you guys both have a big age difference? We get the, I got this question a lot. What do you think? Yeah. I feel like Will and I are actually pretty close. Like, even though, how old, you're 15? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, we're, I'm nine years older than her, but that's like, I feel like it's not that big of a difference. Yeah. Like, so she's in like high school right now and I'm married. And so it's like a little bit different. We don't live in the same like city, but whenever we come home, it's always like, I don't know, we always hang out and we're always doing TikToks or weird things or making fun of people. Or making videos. Or making videos like so. this. Or, I don't know, throwing boys clothes off the roof. Yeah. Or off the roof, it's just, you know. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Pretty much. Lily, how are you so pretty? Aww. Look how cute she is. I don't know. How are you, you so pretty? You're when I'm tan, I think. So well, right you're now. you're beautiful now. I know, I just gotta wait till summer. Mm. That's, that's what you gotta do, is just wait. Just wait till summer, summer and you'll be pretty. <laughs> yeah, You're good. beautiful right now. Lily's just so cute, I feel like one reason why she is so pretty is because she has a cute little heart and heart full shines out. Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay. <laughs> Lily, what is your worst fear? Okay, long story short. So you know that fish on Finding Nemo with the light bulb on its head? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know those were actually real. So one time I was in seminary just sitting there and they started talking about it. And the seminary teacher was like, those are real. Like. They live at the bottom of the ocean, like they're really real. I started bawling and I like <laughs> called my mom. I was like, mom, can you come pick me up? I didn't know like all this stuff. This was this year that this happened. It was so embarrassing. 
I was just bawling and I was like, I'm never going in an ocean again. Oh my gosh. I don't know why they're so scary, but like, they are scary. they're blind, but they have a light bulb and I didn't know they were real. We should go scuba diving and try to find them. Mm -mm. Face your fear. That's a good one, I've never heard that one before. Yeah. Last question and it says, if you had to pick someone to marry RN, who would it be? Thor. There you have it. It is Thor. <laughs> All right, Miss Lily and Thor. Is that his last name? Put like a little picture of Thor. Yep, I'm gonna put a picture of Like kissing on the cheek. They're gonna get married soon. Can't wait. When are you guys getting married? Tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, TV. All right, guys. That was really funny. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. <laughs> and follow us on all our social media. Bye, guys. Bye.